Hi, this is Judd with Presenter Media. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit this question and answer PowerPoint template. So let's get started. The first slide is where you add your question. So what temp does water, water freeze? Okay, so once I do that, um, I want to select the text inside this text box. Um, just highlight it. So click into it and just drag your mouse to highlight it. Um, right click on it, go copy, and then you want to paste this in. Do the same thing, click paste, and do that for each one of these slides. And a couple more. And so what this is going to do, yeah, I'll show you here in a second. If I play the, the first slideshow or the first slide, and then if I click into these, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have the, the question on each one of these slides. So, and if I click into it, um, this little home icon in, down in the right uh, bottom right corner will take you back to the the main uh, question slide. So if you get a wrong answer, you can go back and try again and click the home and try again. Okay, I'm going to exit out of that. Okay, so right now the correct answer is on slide two, which is this first input right here, the orange. So you have the orange color and if I click on that it's going to go to slide two that has the correct answer but you may not always want slide two to be your correct answer so what you need to do is change this to sorry wrong okay looks good but this thumbs up guy you don't want there because he's not giving a thumbs up to a wrong answer so what you need to do is go to, um, actually just move this character kind of off to the side, and then go to a slide with the wrong answer and click on the character and uh, right click on him and go copy and, and then right click and go paste onto that slide. And then I'm just going to move this over to kind of show that, that that's the wrong answer. And let's say I'm going to copy this one with the thumbs up, copy, and delete it off this slide. And we'll say the green one is the right answer. So I'm just going to paste that one with the thumbs up over here. And I'm going to delete this one off. And now this says wrong answer, so I'll just need to change this to That's correct. Okay, and now when I play the slideshow and click on these answers, if I click on the green one, now that's the correct answer because I changed the text on that slide. And these are hyperlinked to each slide. So um, the green one is hyperlinked uh, when I click on it to go to the green one and the pink one is hyperlinked to go to the pink one, and so on. And just click the little home icon in the bottom right to go back to the, the main answer slide. And of course, each one of these is gonna say wrong answer. And I'm gonna exit out of this. Maybe you have two answers that are correct. So what you wanna do is, let's say, let's say this one right here, the put your answer uh, number three right here. It's kind of a teal color. If you want to use that one, you go to the slide right here and just put correct or whatever you want to put to say that it's correct. And you'll need to copy and paste the robot with a thumbs up. So just right click on it and go copy. Then go to that slide, right click, go paste. You can also use the hotkey, which is control C 
and then control V with it selected and it will copy and paste. That's on a Windows machine. And then just drag the robot so it's on top of that. That looks good. And now when I play this, I'll have two answers that are correct. So um, this one right here, actually that one's wrong. So I'm going to go back. I think it was the green one that was correct. Yes, the green one was correct. And the this answer was correct as well. So um, yeah, you'll want to put your your answers in here. Um, let's, I don't know, 32 degrees, uh, like 100 degrees, whatever your answers are, you want to put them in here. So you have your, your question up here and your answers down here. And then on each slide, um, I copy and pasted that text into the answer area. So uh, when they click on um, or when you click on or whoever you have click on one of these answers to say that it's correct um, They can still see what the question was and then of course click on the home icon Right down here to go back to that main slide. Okay, so what if you want? more than one question um, to do this you'll have to do use the the PowerPoint show option. So let's uh, let's take a look at that real quick. I'm just going to go file new to make a new presentation. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to go back to the to the quiz. And there's some instructions down here. I'm just going to delete those out for right now. And then go to file save as browse and then um, click on where it says save as type click on that and i'll get more options and i want to save it as a <clears throat> where is that powerpoint show pp okay why well, i'm not I'm not seeing it here it's probably there I'm just not seeing it. Okay, I'm going to pause the video real quick and oh, here it is PowerPoint show right there. P dot P P S X. Um, okay, so click on that. Then I'm going to go to let's see. I'm going to make a folder here. Call it a quiz and go into there. Okay, so um, I just made, you wanna make a folder, whatever you wanna call it, and put it on your computer. I just call it quiz. And I'm just gonna put this as question one. But you can title it whatever you want. You could put the name or the question actually in the name. And I'm gonna save that. And let's see. So now I'm gonna just put another Another question in here, just uh, how tall is Mount Everest? Okay, and I just spell Everest right. No, nope. okay, <clears throat> so and then you put your answers in here. I'm not gonna change in the, any of these other slides, <clears throat> but so I want to go file, save as. Go browse, then go to save as type, click on that, and click on the PowerPoint show again, PPSX. And then I'm going to name this uh, question two. Okay, and you can make as many of these as you want with different questions. And now I'm going to go to the blank slide, which could be your, your existing presentation, whatever you have. And you want to make a, a new slide, or you can use a slide with some blank, um, blank areas. And what you want to do is go to Insert, create a text box, and then put your the name of your your question in there. So, what temp does water freeze? Okay. 
and that's that one. I'm going to center that text. And then your next question would be, how tall is Mount, oops, Mount Everest? So there's another one. So now what you want to do is inside your existing presentation, right click on one of these text boxes and go down to where it says link. Okay. And then to existing file. So it, click on this button right here. It says existing file or web page. And then, <clears throat> then you want to go click on the, it's probably best to save these on your, save this on your desktop, but I did not. So um, I'm going to have to find here. Hold on one second. I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just had to move that folder because it was buried so deep in my computer. It was it was going to be hard to find. So I'm going to right click on the text box, go to link, then go to existing file or web page, and then click on the drop down. And I have it saved in my documents. So um, if I click on documents, and right here where it says quiz. I want to go in there and I want to link question one. So just link that. Now I'm going to click on this next one. So um, you just want to select it. You don't want to select into the text box. You see the dotted lines around it. You want to make sure that's a solid, um, solid lines around the, the selection of the text. And then right click and go down to the middle where it says link um, existing file or web page. And I saved mine inside my documents folder and then in a folder called quiz. So I double click into that and I want to link question two. All right. So now that I got these linked, uh, what I want to do is play the slideshow. And um, there's a few ways to play the slideshow, but I'm using down in the bottom right corner. There's just a, like a little icon that says play slideshow. I'm just clicking on that. So now if I click on or play the slideshow and click on these um, on these text boxes. Uh, I don't, oh, it's because it has hyperlinks. So you created this so you know it's not harmful to your computer. So um, just click yes, continue. And now it's going to play this this slideshow without having the slides inside my existing presentation. It just opens up this, this um, external uh, template inside my existing presentation. So um, I can click the home icon and it works just like uh, it did, does in a presentation I had, but I don't have to uh, open all the slides. So you can see that all that is good. And the interactivity is there, and it's got my question up here. Okay, so once I'm done with this question, all I have to do is hit escape on my keyboard to exit out of that and go back to the slide in my main presentation. And then I click on the next question. So how tall is Mount Everest? And yes. And it opens up that, um, that, external um, template with this other question and I can just use it the same way. <clears throat> and this one I just I just added a title. I didn't change any of the answers or anything else like that. And that's it. And you can just put as many of those um, questions in here in your existing presentation just like this, just like I did here, as you want. So um, Let's go back to here. So just, yeah, just using this, this, uh, this PowerPoint template, this quiz and answer PowerPoint template, you can keep renaming uh, the title to your question and then copying and pasting it into each following slide. There's six following slides and, and then changing, changing up which 
which box is going to be the correct answer as I showed you in the beginning of this tutorial. Okay, I hope that that helps um, you kind of get using this template. And yeah, we'll see you on the next tutorial and have a great day. Bye-bye.